Hey, Robert. Welcome back to episode four, guys, of my Astroneer Beginner's Guide series. Today, we're going to go over the backpack. The backpack, you know, as you can see, serves as your basic inventory. Um, inventory bag, or whatever you want to call it. Um, also, it's a 3D printer, if you didn't know. Um, starting off personally, though, one of the big things I like about Astroneer right now is its UI. It's not dampered down by anything. You can see what you need to know right on your character. Um, and just, you can pick up some pretty, uh, pretty uh, nifty, uh, screenshots. Just like this sun right here. But yeah, everything serves its purpose. I mean, you don't have to have anything up in the corner, so it's a big thing with the, the whole UI thing, I think, with Astroneer. Which also includes your backpack. And as you can see in your backpack, it displays, you know, your energy and your oxygen level. Um, if you press Y on the Xbox One, you can actually zoom up into it. <clears throat> as you can see, it has eight slots, a and then two gauges in order to put any kind of like energy producing uh, device from a solar shield to a uh, wind panel. Um, so while we're on the backpack, we are going to go over um, some of the some of the blueprints that you can make. So first one's going to be the the wind vane. Um, if you remember back in the smelting, this is why we created the smelter first in order to hurry up and build some. Uh, important devices just like this wooden vein. Um, wooden vein serves just like you know solar panel except uh, it it's able to produce energy through the wind. Um, very generic this is like your upgraded one the wind turbine. You have the wind vein which is more for your backpack and your personal use. You can put it on I believe you can put it on whatever you want. So, is it a one slot? Yeah just like that. So yeah, it's just the wind vane. Um, let's go over tethers. Tethers we should already know about too. Tether services like an extension, power cord is what I'm starting to call them, for uh, you know oxygen and your energy as well. It'll actually give you energy while you're out and about, as long as they're connected, and as long as it's producing energy too. So, yep, tethers really quick. You know you can place them anywhere. Just make sure they're connected. You'll see the the slight little ghost. Um, line that it's, hey, we're connected. It also serves as, you know, a light source as well right now. So you can put on the ceiling, the walls, however you want to place them. So that's pretty neat that it also serves as a light source. What do we got next? Um, we got the beacon next. Beacon. A beacon. Beacon, just like in its name. Um, if you find something interesting, you're able to place this little guy down, let's say, um, let's find something that's really interesting. Um, just say, hey guys, you know, say we're in a group of people, hey, there's some resin over there. They're like, what are you talking about? What resin? So I can, before I die, I'm going to set this little beacon down. Is it? And the further I go away, the more you'll see this line go up. So, I think in the future, I think I'm, you know, I'm going to request it. Maybe if you can put like some type of, you know, text that you can write on there. I think that would be pretty neat. So just like that, I'll be like, hey guys, you know that one beacon over there? Just, you know, uh, let's see. No, it's not what I wanted to grab. You know, just, what, east of us? East of the base? Like, hey, there's, you know, resin over there. So yeah, that's that's the beacon. Um, what, what do we get next? Get the beacon. Get the wind vane. Solar panel. Solar panel, we already have one made. Just like the... The, um, the, the wind vane. You know, it's the smaller version of the solar panel. The large solar panel. What do we got? I think we got some lithium. Did we get some? Oh, we got titanium on that. Wow. Um, wow. Okay. I was hoping we get some lithium, but that's even that's even better. Okay. So what are we doing? You know, let's get some lithium right now. Let me cut the video early, and I'll be right back because I'll get some lithium so we can demonstrate the uh, the battery. Awesome. We got lithium. Okay. Alright, welcome back. 
Got the lithium. You guys don't need to see how I get it. Obviously, get it off the tree, research it, bam. So the battery. Battery just increases your energy usage um, when it's not tethered. I believe. Bam. Get energy, as you can see from the yellow. It's going to fill it up. Bam. Okay. So let's see. You're going to be able to see it there on the right. So we're not tethered. Instantly, it's going to use this battery first. As you can see, my main battery is slowly going down. Will it recharge? I have to recharge it while it's tethered. Just like that, recharges. Just gives you like an extra boost. See, I mean, the you know, the further you explore, you know, the, the less you're going to want to be tethered. You know, for whatever reason. What do we get next? The tank? Do we really need lithium for that too? What do I need? I can't even see it. Titanium. Guess what? We just got some titanium. So, tank. Tank is going to be, um... Sorry, like that. It's just like the battery, but it's for your oxygen. Increases your capacity for your oxygen. Again, another way to enhance, you know, your other resource. That's not energy. Bam. And it'll fill up while we're tanked. Okay, we're full. Now this is going to go down first. Slowly starting to go down. Okay, basically that's what it is on, you know, the battery. Or the tank, sorry. What do we got next? Power cells. Let's get those made. Power cells do not need to charge. Like the battery. So let's move this battery off so we can demonstrate it. As you can see, slowly going down. Is that it for the battery? That's all it does? And it doesn't recharge either? Is that right? I guess it can't be charged. I'll have to read a little bit more up on that. That's a little interesting. What else have we got? Uh, filters, what do I need? I think filters consumes less, less oxygen if I have that right. Um. Is that right? It consumes less oxygen. Yes, that is correct. Less oxygen for that. I think that's pretty much everything that we have, basically. Generator. Oh, you know, we got copper. How did I miss the generator? Let's get this generator made. Demonstrate it. Damn. Oh yes, the coal. I'm sorry. Another way to produce energy. Or no, not not coal. Organic. That's my bad. Let's get some. I thought that was it, but I guess not. Oh, there we go. Bam. Fill. So we're going to fill up the generator. You see, it fills it up. Basically, that's the generator. I mean, there's not a lot to the, this, you know, the backpack. It's really simple. But yeah, I mean, that's the backpack. Again, s has a really cool UI. I just love it that you're able to see what's on your back, what's in the inventory, without anything, you know, crowding up your screen. Um, yeah, that's the backpack. Next one, we'll probably go over the, the 
vehicle module. That'll be our next plan. I'll probably see if I can get Nephew to help me out with that one. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, watch out for sandstorms, and I'll see you guys in episode 5. Later! Hey, Robert! Thanks again, guys, for tuning in and watching today. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button. It's real easy. My emblem right there in the middle of the screen, hit it, bam, you're subscribed. We have two videos on the screen also right now. We have my most recent upload and a random playlist that I have. Social media is also in the description. We have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and even Tumblr. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.